All right, guys, I know a few of you have probably been waiting for me to say something about this since a lot of you guys who subbed to my channel originally subbed over the Intel issue I put out a long time ago. This was 2023, this video here, which I actually reinstated after all these problems. Um, it's not super accurate to the current stuff that uh, Wendell has put out. Many of you guys, if you haven't seen this, I will link this down below. This video is really important, uh, talking about current situation with Intel. Um, so yeah, so going back, I have reinstated this video. Um, Tech yeah City made another video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to link that down below as well. He was the original guy that I found that brought this stuff up. Him and I had a lot of conversations about this. Um, this is a serious issue, and now it's becoming more and more prominent. So just letting you guys know, I will be on a little hiatus from YouTube, just taking a little break, a little vacation for myself. But of course, right when I woke up this morning, it's pretty early. I see this article pop up from Tom's Hardware talking about this game studio. Um, we're going to butcher their name, Alderon, Alderon Games. And so I, I checked out their page. I wanted to see if they actually had any legitimate games. And um, they got a few games like this Path of Titans game. Looks like people are pretty into it. That's going to PlayStation, Xbox, uh, PC. Um, they make some phone games, too. You have like Breaking Point, this one here. Anyway, just wanted to make sure they had some legitimacy because this article that they posted, or let's just say Tom's Hardware posted, which is this one here, um, we can read through both of these, but here is what the developer themselves posted. And I'm just gonna read through this. Feel free to pause it and read it yourself. Um, so Intel is selling defective 13 and 14th gen CPUs. My team at Alderon Games, working on the multiplayer dinosaur survival game, Path of Titans, has been encountering significant problems with Intel CPU stability. These issues, including crashes, instability, and memory corruption, are confined to the 13th and 14th generation processors. Despite all released microcode, BIOS, and firmware updates, these problems remain unresolved. They go on to list a bunch of bullet points, Bullet point number one, end customers, thousands of crashes on Intel CPUs on 13th and 14th gen CPUs in our crash reporting tools. Number two, official dedicated game servers experiencing constant crashes, taking entire servers down. Uh, bullet point number three, development team. Developers using these CPUs face frequent instability while building and working on the game. It can also cause SSD and memory corruption, which is something I've seen a few times with my own customers. Uh, game server providers, that's the next bullet point, hosting community servers with persistent crash, crashing issues, and then the last bullet point is benchmarking tools, decompression and memory tests unrelated to Path of Titans also fail. Over the last three or four months, we have observed that CPUs initially working well deteriorated over time, eventually failing. The failure rate we have observed from our own testing is nearly 100%. Now, before I go any further, when uh, talking about 100% failure rate, there's a little bit, I have a little bit of a uh, an issue with this. He says, or this person writing this says that they have had nearly a 100% failure rate. Is that on the server side? Is that on the, you know, the, the computers that you guys are making the game on? I wish they were kind of more clear about that. Um, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. This is a developer, and they are also talking about the issue. And if there's ha if they're having these many issues as well, this is very concerning. And that's something that just needs to be brought up. At this point, Intel has taken months to really come up with an answer for us on all of these problems. And they really have not. And there's so many people defending it, man. It's like, uh, I if I went to the, the Facebook... <laughs> Uh, page where I actually found the link to this article. If I go down and read the comments, the insanity is like, uh, it's it's unhinged. People are just like so much defending Intel for, for no reason. They need to defend their wallets at this point. This is not about, you know, protecting some major corporation. Like if the company is making bad products, they need to be called out. And by the way, this is not like a hit piece on Intel either. I've been dealing with this since I bought this processor of my own. Um, I've had a lot of issues with customer machines and stuff, and I put all of that information back in this video I did quite a while ago here uh, that is reinstated. So if you guys want to watch it, I mean, it's a little bit dated, but it's it's back up on the channel. And this was something that Tech yes City did. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going over the instability, talking about um, how the 
IO, there was a lot of IO issues, which is actually something that was brought up by Wendell at level one tech. So there's just a lot here and uh, it's pretty funny. Let's go back to reading the rest of them. Over the last three to four months, we have observed that CPUs initially working well will deteriorate over time, eventually failing. The failure rate we have observed from our own testing is nearly 100%, indicating it's only a matter of time before affected CPUs fail. The issue is gaining attention from news outlets and has been noted by Fortnite and Rad Game Tools, which powers decompression behind Unreal Engine. Users are also receiving misleading error messages about running out of video memory, uh, video driver memory, which is something we saw before with the fighting game, uh, despite having sufficient memory. Actions we are taking. Server migration. We are swapping all of our servers to AMD, which is something that Wendell uh, said that his, his the people he was talking to were also doing that, so they were jumping to the 7950X, I believe. Um, hosting recommendations. We advise anyone hosting Path of Titan servers or selling game servers to avoid purchasing or using 13th and 14th gen CPUs. In-game notifications. We are adding pop-up messages, a pop-up message in-game to inform users with these processors about the issue. Wow, that's pretty bold. Many users are currently unaware of why their game is crashing and what they can do about it. So, the, you know, short little piece here. Um, Tom's Hardware also did post about this. So if you guys were wondering, I'll link this too. I'm going to leave all this stuff linked down below. And guys, again, sorry for this kind of like thrown together, crappy off the hint, off the hook video. It's really, um, I just really wanted to share, share this before, you know, I, I take a little break on YouTube because uh, this is pretty important stuff. I mean, there are going to be a lot of people feeling very uh, confused about their purchase because going even going on some of the Reddit and Facebook groups, I'm looking at a lot of the comments back and forth. People are still just buying these CPUs. They have no idea. I'm just going to show you guys real quick because this is the kind of stuff that I've been noticing on Facebook, on Reddit, when I'm going in these groups and I'm reading. And these are all public posts, so I, I really don't care if people are going to be talking. Congratulations, you're in a YouTube video now. Like this first comment here, Taylor King. It ain't true. I got no issues. None at all. It's probably people trying to overclock who got no idea with what they're doing. They're destroying their own CPUs. It's a no chip issue. It's user error if there are any. Yeah, so like pure example of, of the level of intelligence we're dealing with here with these people. Dude, literally <laughs> level one tech just came out and told everyone that huge server companies are coming out telling you that there's problems <laughs> like <laughs> and just nobody. Nobody cares. They're just defending what they purchased, which I totally get. Trust me. I don't like having an Intel system that I feel like is shaky and going to going to like blow up. Or, or just stop working or degrade over time. This is not something I'm a fan of. And I try to get as much use out of my computers before upgrading them. It's not like I have a ton of uh, CPUs to throw around all the time for myself. You know, I'm a small channel. So there's a lot uh, going on here for everybody. And I can feel the frustration between, you know, people online. And uh, I just want to say that, like, if you guys are confused... <laughs> If you guys are buying a processor, if you're thinking about buying a new 14th gen CPU, hold off. Like literally the new stuff is around the corner, first of all, from both AMD and Intel. And uh, personally, I will be switching to AMD again. But that being said, there's no fanboy here. I ran Intel for two years now and um, I've had nothing but issues really with the CPU. I finally got it to some point of stability. It took me way too long to get there and I just can't recommend these processors anymore. And that's gonna be it. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. I kinda don't have anything else I could say. There's been so many things brought up. You have Gamers and Access now talking about it, which I wish they talked about it like a long time ago when Tech Yes made the video. Um, Wendell, Wendell pretty much exposed the whole situation. He did the best coverage. So if you haven't watched that video, just go and watch it. Um, yeah, it's gonna do it. I'll see you guys in a future video. Might be a little bit, maybe, couple weeks and yeah see you guys later